land of ice and snow, so I take vitamin D. Do they specify whether it's just the sun or whether it's tanning beds as well? Uh, tanning beds in moderation I've seen in other studies can be good. Tanning beds all the time are a death sentence. It says the widespread use of sunscreens, particularly those with high sun protection factors, which is an FPF, may lead to a significant decrease in solar-induced pre-vitamin D3 in the skin, resulting in a vitamin D level which is insufficient for protection. And again, this article goes on and on and on. Here's what I'm going to take away from it for anybody listening. The sun does not cause cancer. Overdoing a severe sunburn can cause cancer. You are best off using a long sleeve shirt in the hottest, sunniest parts of the day, even if it's uh, some kind of mesh, and using an organic sunscreen than you are of using these poisons that I've talked about. And if you question what I'm saying, then look up parabens. Guys, and that brings us to the dumdy of the day. This is from uh, Pinnack. Uh, listen to this. New York cop pulls gun on teens having a snowball fight. Fearing for his life, it says a New York cop pulled a gun on a group of teens for having a snowball fight. Christelle is trying so hard not to laugh on camera, she's starting to sputter. Don't uh, effing, I did censor it, move guys. The new Rochelle police officer, or the link to it, can be heard on video as he points his gun at the youth who are down on their knees with their hands in the air. I bet they probably crapped themselves. The smell of diarrhea was probably fresh in the air. I probably would. The cop proceeds to pat each of the youth down with one hand while holding the gun, continually telling them not to move. Once the officer realized the fear was all in his head, he released the teens with no charges. Well, how benevolent of him! The officer had initially responded to the disturbance, according to Raw Story. The video was recorded by a witness who stated the following, quote, They were having a snowball fight, she explained. This group of guys was having a snowball fight, and now a cop has a gun on them. And you guys wondered why I praised Officer 183 at the beginning of this. These teens are lucky to have escaped the long arm of the law without injury. Perhaps they read the New York Mayor de Blasio's advice to his son, Dante, on how to deal with police. That's a joke. You'll have to look it up. The video was originally posted on a site, New Rochelle's Talk of the Sound, but that is site has since crashed. How coincidental, due to so many video reviews. The second video showing the cop releasing the teens is on that site. Go to uh, Infowars.com. Uh, they'll give you the full scoop on it. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. to Ganji signing off, reminding you to look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. We are posting all of the time. Also, make sure that you donate to the show if you can, because every penny you give to me goes towards a better show. I'm trying to make this my full job. Looking at about 25 a year so I don't starve. Uh, somebody out there can donate $25,000 to this show. And I'll give it to you five days a week, three hours a day, two weeks off for vacation. Most of you listening can't, but one or two people can. And it is you that I am asking to make it a reality. Good night, friends. God bless.